guys to uh, DLH Performance. As promised on our last video, uh, we're going to look at the clutch basket and the play and um, uh, replace some of these bearings. So as you see into the clutch basket here, um, it's got substantial amount of play uh, between the drive gear and the clutch basket. Um, and with that much play, as this has, uh, the torque is applied to this gear, uh, you're going to get a lot of slop in it and it's going to wear a lot faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the bearings inside this basket to a larger, uh, bearing. Now talk to some guys, depending on your basket, um, some guys are saying that, uh, three millimeter uh, roller ball replaced into the basket is the proper size. Um, happens to be on these ones with uh, Zeta uh, CDH. Um, I'm replacing them with one eighth balls, which is slightly larger, and uh, they fit quite well. So it would matter matter on uh, your application and uh, the model that you're getting it from. So, but uh, the ones that I do. Um, I use one eighth inch uh, balls. So uh, let's pull this off and investigate how much play is actually in this. So let's see if I can get it off here. Okay. So I'm going to take a pair of calipers and I'm going to push the basket this way and let's get a measurement on this. Um, so we're up to about 17.8 millimeters and when I take the play out this way I'm at uh, 17.2 millimeters so half a millimeter in play uh, is what we got here between uh, front and back. So let's go ahead and uh, replace this. So this is how I uh, replace my um, bearings in my basket. So I'll place it into a vise like that. I put something, a softener on the bottom. And I've made these up for bearings years ago. And I'll put that like that. You want to find uh, a socket or something that you can put onto it that's not hitting uh, the basket race there. So we're going to knock this out. Just tap it. It's coming. This one's taking a little bit of force. There we go. And seems like I've exploded in bearings here, but that's okay because I'm going to replace them. And get rid of these bearings. The basket. This is a brand new basket is, uh, that I'm taking apart here. So I just want to try to do a quick measurement on one of these ball bearings. And let's see if I can measure it. Roller balls. And we're at about, it's a three millimeter ball uh, at uh, 2.8 millimeters. So I would say that's a three millimeter ball. And switch it over to inches at 15, 128. The ball bearings I'm going to replace are the 1 8 roller balls. 
Let's see if I can get a measurement on here. One eighth, which is quite a bit larger at uh, 3.14, 3.15 millimeters. So hopefully that's going to take up the space in the play into uh, the basket. Okay, so let's clean this up. Okay, I've uh, went ahead with the rag and I've cleaned up the bearing race. You know, I got all the grease out of it. I cleaned up the backing disc, uh, cleaned any of the grease contamination on it off so I don't contaminate the pads, and cleaned up the, the basket itself, the gear basket. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of grease and I'm going to put it on here, just a small amount all the way around. Pin it on there with a the brush. Okay. So now I've gotten it all into there, into the groove. And I'll take a rag and just wipe off the outside bit. So I have grease just right inside the inside. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 1 8 inch balls, roller balls, and I'm just going to lay them inside there. And you see how they just stick in there? And we're just going to continue on until I got the basket completely full. Okay, now that we got all the ball bearings into the roller balls into the, the race, um, what we're gonna do is put it into the basket. So just carefully take it and set it over in place. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of grease and I'm just going to put it into these holes. And I'll just use my finger. Just pack it up a little bit. So not have to be packed in there very tight. Just a little bit extra in there. Make sure that it's lubricated. Okay. Now I'll go ahead holding it tight in there. I'll go ahead and I'll just wipe off any excess on the outside. Okay. So it's just lightly packed, lightly packed with grease. Okay. Then once we get it at that stage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this and this needs to be put back into there. So I'll take this with my anvil. I'll place it on here like that. And I'm just gonna press fit this back into place. Like so. All right. I'll just tap that in there lightly. So I got it started. I can hit a little bit harder. I didn't want to hit it too hard, just direct metal on metal. But now, Okay, now that I've gotten uh, it uh, sealed in there, um, there's uh, barely any play this way and this way. So we'll just check it now with the calipers. And I'll push this way and see what I get. Uh, 17.3 millimeters 
And then what I'll do is I'll try to push it the other way. I'm trying to push it that way. And I'm at 17. Uh, 17.24 so there's very little play now in the basket at all let's try it onto the engine now and if you see here the gears are more uh, it's barely meshed with uh, both of them with almost no play side to side and just uh, gear play up and down because of the way the, the teeth were made but almost zero play side to side and that's what I like to do to my baskets to make sure that I don't get any excessive or early wear into this area and uh, That's my new uh, CNC clutch. Uh, this engine is going to be a Torque Monster. Uh, I got a bunch of different spring setups I'm going to be testing on it. And uh, more videos to come. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And uh, stay tuned, man. Okay, guys, I just want to show you uh, uh, one other thing, too. Uh, say you have uh, a basket and you put in uh, three millimeter roller balls into it brand new ones or just say that it's uh, worn slightly and you're getting that sloppy play into it and you want to repair it so um, you can upgrade to a 1 8 inch roller ball and all you need to do is have uh, a 2 and 1 16 uh, barrel roller sander and this is uh, 60 grid and what you do is you stick it inside and my, my things happen to come off on this one, but I'll give you the idea. Anyways. And this is hardened steel, so uh, it takes quite a bit to remove any material out of here. So you just hone it out. Hone it out. Until, and what you do is you hone it a little bit. And what you do is you take your roller balls, your 1 8 inch roller balls. And you get it so it fits. So they're rolling nicely. And uh, you get a snug fit in there again. And that'll repair any side play you have as well. So that's a little tip to uh, fix up your basket and replace the bearings. Into a larger roller bearing. Into a 1 8. Don't forget to... Uh, Subscribe, like, and share.